In 3D graphics, camera motion is the essential layer of visual storytelling. It conveys energy, emotion, drama, and it adds life to static renders across time. Yet many artists are missing on this creative impactful narrative, because they are not simply using the full potential of their cameras. And that's why in this video I'm going to introduce you to a new camera animation pack for Blender. Inside this pack, you can find a lot of pre-made camera animation templates, specially designed for animating objects like cars, products, environment, characters and much more. This pack was specially designed for artists and those who are rendering stills, which means they are rendering only single images with no camera motion at all. And I think this is a shame because not using camera motion in Blender is basically not using the full potential of the 3D software. It's because the camera motion itself is actually a very good contributor to the overall realism of your render. So let's take a closer look what you can actually get from this pack. First of all, all camera motions are divided into three categories. We have single movement animations. These are mostly simple camera movements, designed for a quick, clear and simple presentation of your object. Then you have sequenced movements animations, which are a little bit more complex. These are combinations of simple camera movements, specially designed for more complex presentations from different distances and angles. And lastly, there are Instagram Reel camera animations, which are basically camera movements synchronized with audio and music that is currently trending on social media. Walk it like I talk it, walk it, walk it like I talk it. Yeah. Take my shoes and walk a mile, something that you can't do. Hey. Big tops of the town, big boy game. Now there is also a PDF file included in this pack, and if you open this PDF file, you can find a spreadsheet, where you can find all the audios and the popular music for the insta -reel animations. But now, let's take a closer look on how to actually install these animations to your Blender file. Let's say you have a basic scene with one object that you want to present. To set up these camera movements, you need to go first to Preferences, Add-ons and enable Add Camera Rig. This is because we need to first add the camera system in order to apply the animation on it. Now press Shift A and add Dolly Camera Rig. Now before we actually add the animation, there are still some adjustments that we can do to make the work more simple for us. It's always better to add another 3D viewport, so we can see the preview from the camera and at the same time you can make changes easily. Also add Action Editor and Graph Editor, where we will be adjusting our animation. Also, if you would like to use the insta -reel animation, make sure you are using 30fps, so the speed is matching with the audio. Now, select the camera rig, go to post mode, select all rigs, and then go to file and append. Now, open one of the downloaded blend files, go to action folder, choose any animation you want, check the fake user so the animation stays in your blend file, and click on append. Now, if you go to the action bar, you can choose from the animations you appended. And that is basically all. It is easy as that. Let's take a look how the camera system actually works. First of all, you have this main controller, which is basically the origin of the whole animation. If you move this rig, you will basically move the whole camera system. Now, this controller, which is always facing the camera, is basically the focus point, to which the camera will be always tracked. You can use this controller to actually position the camera where you want. There is also an offset controller inside which you can use to roll the camera or zoom in. Now if you would like to change the length of the animation and make it either longer or shorter, just select all the keyframes and scale them either up or down on the x-axis. But before you do so, I actually recommend duplicating the action because if something happens and you mess up, you can actually go back to the default animation and start over again. Now one of the key things that I really like about these animations is that most of them are looping which means the starting point and the ending point are basically the same. This allows you to make a very pleasing and aesthetic videos, with no obvious repetition point. Now the animation looks good, but it can still be better. First of all, go to Render Properties, Enable Motion Blur, and then go to the Camera Properties and Enable Depth of Field. You can select the center rig as the focus point, because the camera will always face it. Now after everything is done and you are ready for exporting, choose the output destination and to make sure that you are not exporting as a video, but rather as an image sequence. This is because if you are rendering a video, and something goes wrong, then the video will be lost and you need to re-render the whole animation again. But if you render as an image sequence, you can start from the point where the rendering was paused and just continue rendering your animation. Then just open a new Blender video editor file, set the frame rate, add the image sequence and re-render as a video. So overall I would say this pack is very useful for those who are rendering static images with no animations, or those who don't really have some experience in animating cameras. 
So if you would like to get this pack, just click on the link in the description or just click on the link that just appeared. That's all from my side. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.